Yeah, bang bang rail. Um, down the Beckett. Um, down the Beckett with Jimmy Tibbet. Um, we was we was on the bill on a bill meant to fight Lenny McLean. Um, so I was down the Beckett. Uh, he was down at Colombo. I, was, I got in the ring. Had about three rounds with Colombo, and then got got in the ring with Shaka. Shaka was going to fight Cliff Fields um, at the same time, but Cliff Fields, um, I believe. Uh, Shaka beat Cliff Fields on a cut eye. That's what I was told, yeah? Whether or not it's true, I don't know. But they reckon Cliff Fields was bashing Shaka up anyway. But Shaka got the, uh, got the points, the decision of a cut eye and bits and pieces, yeah? Uh, Lenny, I was supposed to fight Lenny McLean on the same bill, but Lenny never showed up. But when I was when I was in the uh, the Beckett, I got in the ring with Shaka and had, a, had some good sparring sessions with Shaka, mate. Shaka was, was a good fighter. But I hear... That Lenny beat Shaka. Then I was told that Lenny lost to Shaka. So how true it is, I don't know. But I was inspired with Shaka quite a lot. Good fighter. Um, I met him down in Brixton, yeah. I met him down in Brixton. I was with um, a geezer called Low, Lawrence Gibbons who had a car front down there. And Shaka was down there talking to Low. And that's how I met him. I was. Uh, I asked him, what's he doing? He said he's, he's an unlicensed fighter. And he said, I, I said, look, I'm an unlicensed fighter too. We went down to Beckett one day, you know, have, have, have a move around. And he was talking to me about Colombo, you know, and Danny Chippendale and Brian Hall, all them fighters. But anyway, when I when I was told that Shaka um, beat Lenny McLean, how true it is, I don't know. I've been told that Lenny McLean beat Shaka, I don't know. But all I know is that when I got in the room with Shaka, me and him was having good, some good sparring sessions, some really, really good sparring sessions. But... Uh, Cliff Fields. When I when when I see Cliff Fields um, uh, fight uh, Ronnie Redrupt, right, and he'd already fought Shaka, evidently, and Shaka beat him over cut eye. Uh, when I've spoke to uh, Cliff Fields about it, he said no way. He said it shouldn't have been stopped. He says there's no way that that um, Shaka beat me. There's no way he beat me, mate. He said that I I, I beat I bashed him up easy. There's no way they should have given it to Shaka, you know what I mean? So, right. But I'm going to take in on Cliff Fields' word. But Cliff Fields really never lied about things about boxing. He was the governor, mate, without a shadow of a doubt. He was the number one all over, you know. I, I mean, me and Cliff Fields used to spiral quite a lot, you know what I mean? And I saw my home, my home with Cliff Fields. A mate of mine, uh, Alec Jones, a very good friend of mine, said that I fought Cliff Fields twice. But once I drew and once I lost. I'm not, I can't really remember it's such a long time. I don't think I did, you know, I'm not quite sure. Uh, people would know this if anybody's seen Cliff Hill fight. If he, if, if he did fight me, I'm not quite sure. Someone told me that I did, but, you know, I mean, it's such a long time ago, uh, you know, 78, 79 is a long, long time ago to remember. I'm sure you remember getting him in the room with Cliff Hills, but my mate said, no, you did. And you, lo you lost one and he drew one. So, just take my mate's word for it. But I used to spar with Cliff Fields all the time, you know. Sometimes down to Catsbury, Streatham, sometimes a Harvey Social Club. We had a couple of sparring sessions in Guildford, over Guildford. You know, we, we, yeah, we used to spar quite a lot, me and Cliff. I, I like Cliff, mate. Um, I miss him so much. He was a good friend of mine, a good pal. But anyway, I was going to fight Sir Lenny um, on the same show, but Lenny never showed. Um, I always said to myself, well, it, it might not be Lenny. Lenny that didn't want to fight me. It might have been something to do with Frankie Warren. It might have been something to do with Vic Andretti. I don't know, yeah? But I was ready to fight uh, Lenny. You know, everybody, I mean, listen, I've got some... Lenny McLean, to me, is a fantastic, fantastic guy, yeah? I mean, he was a good actor, a fantastic fighter. I know he only had about 12, 13 fights, and I think he only lost... He only won about seven of those fights. How true it is, or only five. People tell you that, but I'm not quite sure if that's true or not, yeah? I've had a few people uh, send me send me a Lenny McLean's record, and I think he had about 13 fights and lost, and won about five, and lost about seven or something like that. I'm not quite sure. People let me know if I'm telling, telling the truth. Um, they keep asking me, uh, to get my record out or to tell them how many fights I had. I had loads of fights. I had loads of fights, but most of the fights I had was with Dorman, you know. Loads of Dorman. 
around Deptford, Catford, Woolwich, all around there, you know, all around the place. I used to fight Dorman with Jimmy Tibbet, yeah. Jimmy Tibbet used to get me Dorman to fight all the time. I'd go to his cats with Stratton. Sometimes I'll have two fights in a week, you know. And Harvey Social Club, I was always fighting. And, you know, I, I just love it. Harry Starbuck, me and Harry Starbuck, me and Harry, I mean, me and Harry Starbuck, that's always had good words about each other, you know, always. And lots of times, I've had, I think I've had about two fights um, that Harry Starbuck was supposed to fight, and he didn't, you know. So I, I had the fights instead. But yeah, me and Harry go back a long way. Harry Starbuck, good fighter, mate, Harry. I mean, he lost to Roy Shaw, uh, but didn't mean, that doesn't mean he wasn't anybody. Uh, Harry Starbuck was a very, very good fighter, mate. He can march on. I believe, I believe, I don't know, I think Brian Hall fought Shaka and beat Shaka. Check, I'm not quite sure. Check it out for me, yeah? But Shaka, all accounts, I'm only telling you what I've been told, beat Cliff Fields, um, beat Cliff Fields over cut eye, I believe. And, but uh, Frankie Warren said that Cliff Fields never once cut when he boxed for him, yeah? So whether or not it's a, it's a liar, I don't know, but people have told me. I always thought that Cliff Fields didn't lose many fights. And I don't think he lost that one with Shaka. But it might have been Lenny McLean that lost it with Shaka, not Cliff Fields. So let me know, yeah? This is Bang Bang Rail. Please press the like button and subscribe. Nice one.